Now, there are claims that Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny was likely killed with a punch to the heart by KGB operatives after being exposed to temperatures which could drop as low as minus 27 degrees Celsius for several hours. It's understood to be an old method of the KGB Special Forces Divisions. This is fascinating. Joining us live now, the founder of the human rights group, Gulagu.net, Vladimir Osechkin. Vladimir, good to see you this morning. Thanks for your time. I know it's late for you, but I just was stunned by this report. Firstly, why do you think that method was likely? Uh, good morning, uh, dear Peter. Go, uh, good morning to all the Australian people who see now this video. Yes, uh, we have the information uh, from two our sources uh, who explicate what has happened in uh, 16th February in colony number three with uh, Alexei Navalny, uh, leader of our opposition. Uh, they said that uh, normally he take him in 6 uh, a.m., to go to the street and in the street now in Siberia is uh, minus 27, 28 degrees. It's, it's yeah. very cold, really. Yeah. And he spent more than two and a half hours in the uh, little uh, garden uh, with the security of prison. And in the end of this, when uh, he is not very good, uh, he beaten him. Uh, and uh, our source say, uh, said that in his body, there is a minimum two traces of traumas, gematomes near the heart. And it's imaginated that they beaten him near the heart to stop uh, his heart and to kill him. Okay. And for us, uh, with our yeah. experience... So just just uh, backing up the... on that, Vladimir, yeah, just because uh, we're short for time. So was there bruising around the heart? Is that what you're alleging? Yes. Uh, our source said that he saw... Uh, uh, minimum uh, two uh, point uh, uh, of traumas of gematomes near his heart, yeah. and uh, it's imaginated that after when he spent more than two hours in cold, uh, some operatives of the special forces uh, beaten him. Yes. Yeah, so, and so, so just on that, so what's the logic for KGB? You know, if this turns out to be true someone's out there and there's freezing cold conditions, you know, a one punch or two punch to the heart, and that kills him. That shows how fragile he is, again, if this turns out to be true. What's the logic behind that move? I mean, why not just shoot him or poison him? They were going to kill him anyway, and everyone knows who is responsible. Uh, Peter, uh, f first time, uh, it's not possible to uh, find a logic in this illegal state uh, who beaten, raped and uh, killed uh, a lot of men and for now do this disgusting war. Uh, first time uh, we need to understand that Russian Federation in this uh, uh, time, it's really a dic uh, uh, dictator, uh, it's totalitarianism, uh, it's sis illegal system, inhuman system, and they practice illegal methods of the KGB and Gulag in yeah. this uh, 21st uh, century. Okay. And uh, logic is to kill uh, Alexei Navalny. It's the most popular oppositional leader uh, in Russia uh, before these uh, falsificated elections to uh, give uh, to dictator Putin the right to say that ah, I'm in the elections and I don't have... Yeah. Uh, the concurrent, and I am really uh, the leader of the Russian Federation. But yeah. uh, it's uh, really elections. Uh, his concurrent is uh, was killed in 16 February in prison, and we know that it's really political murder. Okay, Vladimir, we're going to have to leave it there. Appreciate that.